One of the best ways to display social proof and the quality of your online store is with customer reviews. Product reviews allow customers to read and share opinions about your products and can increase your conversion rates. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to easily add a customer review feature to Shopify and allow customers to rate your products. Not only can customers leave new reviews for your products, but you can also import reviews to your Shopify store from other platforms. This is a great way to add social proof if you have a new store. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to set up product reviews. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you're looking to build an e-commerce store or sell products online, in my opinion, Shopify is the best option you can go with. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. So to enable customer reviews, the first thing we'll need to do is download the product reviews app. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the apps tab. This will open up a search box up top where you can search through all of the apps that are available for Shopify. From here, go ahead and search for product reviews. This will take you to the Shopify app store and show you all the apps related to the term product reviews. There are tons of third party apps available, but we're going to be checking out the product reviews app by Shopify. This is a free app by Shopify that allows customers to leave ratings and reviews for the products in your online store. So to add the product reviews app to your Shopify account, go ahead and click the add app button. This will take you back to your Shopify dashboard where you can start the installation process. To get started, go ahead and click the install app button at the top right. The app will then be installed and you'll be taken to a page with installation instructions to add reviews and ratings to your products. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll also see a tab added for the product reviews app. If you want to pin it to your menu, simply click the pin icon on the right hand side here. It'll now always be accessible in the app section from the menu. So now that we've installed the product reviews app, let's go over how to enable reviews and ratings for our products. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, go ahead and click the online store tab. This should take you to your themes menu. To add ratings and reviews, we'll need to customize our theme. So go ahead and click the customize button at the bottom right hand side. This will open up the Shopify theme editor. From here, let's click the drop down menu at the top of the page. This will allow you to select the part of your Shopify theme that you want to update. So from the drop down menu, let's click on the products tab. You can then select the product page template that you want to update. For most, you can just select the default product tab. You can then update the default template for your products. To enable product reviews and ratings, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and scroll all the way down to the add section tab. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can select a new section or an app to add to your product page template. Since we're adding the product reviews app, let's click the apps tab. From here, you can view the apps that you've installed to your Shopify store that are available to add. By installing the product reviews app, you should now have access to reviews and star ratings. So let's click the reviews tab to add reviews to my product page. When I select this, an app section will appear at the menu on the left and I should see my reviews tab underneath. Also, if you look at your store preview on the right hand side, you should now see the customer reviews section there as well. So now that we've enabled reviews, let's also add star ratings. If we look at the app section from the menu on the left, under the reviews tab, you should see another tab that says add block. Let's click that now. This will take us back to the apps menu where we can select to add the star rating. So let's click the star rating tab to display that as well. You should now see both reviews and star ratings under the apps section from the menu on the left. And on your store preview, you should now see the default five stars. If you wanted to rearrange your tabs, you can simply grab the icon on the right hand side and move it to your desired location. And we can see in my store preview that the stars have now been moved above my customer reviews. You can also move the entire section on your template by dragging the apps tab. I think I want my ratings and reviews to go up underneath my product information. And there we go. Now customers can read the reviews right underneath my product images. And a quick note, if you click the star rating tab, you'll be able to edit the star color, 
the star size, its alignment, and other options. So once you add and arrange your ratings and reviews, go ahead and look at the top right of the page and click the save button. And ratings and reviews have now been enabled for my Shopify products. So let's head over to my online store and see how it looks. So now, when a customer selects one of my products, they should be able to scroll down underneath my product information and see the product rating and reviews. You'll also notice a link here that customers can click in order to write a review. When they click the write a review link, several options will appear where they can add their information. This includes their name, their email, the rating for the product, a review title, and the review itself. Customers can add up to 1500 characters for their review. And once they're finished, they can click the submit review button and the review will be added to your product page. And if we head back to our Shopify dashboard and click the product reviews app on the left hand side, you'll be able to see and manage all the reviews that are left for your products. If I click on my example review here, it'll open up a page where I can unpublish the review, delete the review, or reply to the review. To reply to a customer review, simply type in your message in the box here, then click the post reply button at the bottom. If you're just building up your Shopify store, but you already have your products listed on other platforms, with the product reviews app, you can actually import your reviews from other places. From the product reviews app main menu, if you look at the top, you should see a tab that says import reviews. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can import a CVS file. Before you get reviews from another platform, make sure you download the CVS template here to see the required format. If we open up the reviews template in Google Sheets, you can see the information that needs to go in each row and column for your reviews. Each row will simply feature a different review and each column will provide a different piece of information. For each column, make sure you include your product handle, which can be found in your product URL, the status, such as published or unpublished, the rating, which can be represented from numbers zero through five, a title, the author, their email, location, the body text, which is the main text of the review, your reply, if you have one, and when the review was created, and when the reply was sent. So now that you know the correct format for the CVS file, let's head over to your other platform and export your reviews. If you go to the reviews section on almost any platform that you may be selling on, you should be able to export the reviews to a CVS file. Go ahead and export the reviews from the platform that you're using and download the CVS file to your device. You can then open up the file in Google Sheets and adjust the formatting so that is correct for Shopify. Once all the reviews have been correctly formatted, Go ahead and export the sheet as a CVS file. Once it downloads to your device, we can then head back over to the product reviews app on Shopify, click the choose file button and open up the CVS file that we just created. We can then click the import reviews button. And if everything was formatted correctly, all the reviews should now appear here in the product reviews app. And if you mark your review status as published, they will be published to your products on Shopify as well. This is a great way to give your products a boost and help increase conversion rates. So that's a quick overview of how to add ratings and reviews to the products in your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.